been the one that everybody talked about was this incredibly advanced civilization and no one could figure out where it is. This isn't a legend. Beneath the waves of the Pacific, something vast is hiding. Not a city, not a shipwreck, but an entire continent. It's been there for millions of years, buried, forgotten, silent. No map marked its name. No textbook told its story until recently. Scientists stumbled upon it, not in myths, but in rock and data. And they're really complex and really large with enormous stones. And it's sort of caused people to rethink the history of the Earth. A land the size of India, almost entirely underwater. They call it Zealandia. But how does a whole continent disappear? And what secrets has it kept beneath the sea? The answers may change everything we thought we knew about our planet. The Eighth Continent, a forgotten world. For centuries, we've accepted the idea that there are seven continents on Earth. North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Antarctica, Australia. These names are etched into school books, memorized by children, and embedded in our collective understanding of the planet. But what if that list has been incomplete all along? What if there's an eighth continent, one we overlooked simply because it hides beneath the sea? Zelandia is its name. A massive landmass is almost entirely submerged beneath the Southwest Pacific Ocean. Stretching nearly two million square miles, it's roughly the size of India. Yet despite its vastness, nearly 94% of Zelandia is underwater, invisible to the naked eye. Only a few scattered pieces, New Zealand and New Caledonia, peak above the surface, like the tips of ancient mountains from a world we never knew existed. The idea of a hidden continent might sound far-fetched, but Zelandia isn't a myth. It's not an ancient tale passed down through cultures. It's a geological reality, one that remained unnoticed by modern science until the 21st century. The reason is simple. Continents, as we traditionally imagine them, are supposed to be land above water. But that assumption has blinded us. In truth, a continent doesn't need to be dry to be real. The story of Zelandia began to unfold slowly. As scientists collected data from the ocean floor around New Zealand, they started noticing strange patterns. Seafloor maps revealed unusual formations, fault lines traced across the sea like scars. Rock samples pulled from deep underwater showed granite and limestone, materials that don't belong in typical oceanic crust. These clues pointed to something big, something continental. In 2017, after decades of research, a team of geologists officially declared Zealandia Earth's eighth continent. It wasn't a radical theory, it was a recognition of facts. Zealandia had been there all along, hiding beneath thousands of feet of water, escaping detection because we hadn't been looking in the right way. Its discovery didn't just add a name to our list of continents, it forced us to rethink what a continent really is. It proved that Earth still has secrets, that even in the age of satellites and sonar, we can still be surprised by what lies beneath our feet, or, in this case, beneath the waves. What makes Zealandia a real continent? To most of us, a continent is simple to define. It's land, vast, continuous, and above sea level. That's how we've always pictured them. But to geologists, the definition is more complex. It's not about what you see, it's about what lies beneath. A continent is defined by its structure. It must have a thick, buoyant crust that is different from the denser oceanic crust. It should be large, coherent, and geologically distinct. And most importantly, it must have a well-defined boundary that separates it from surrounding tectonic plates. By these scientific standards, Zealandia fits the description perfectly. The crust beneath Zealandia is thicker than the ocean floor around it. It's made up of rocks typically found in continental landmasses, granite, schist, and ancient sediments. These aren't the volcanic rocks you'd expect from a seabed. They're the kind you'd find on the surface of continents like Asia or South America. These are the bones of a landmass, not the floor of an ocean. Its size is undeniable. Zealandia stretches over 1.9 million square miles, making it larger than Greenland and nearly two-thirds the size of Australia. In fact, it's bigger than some of the continents we already recognize. That's a staggering realization, especially when you consider that most of it lies beneath the ocean. Then there's the boundary. The edges of Zealandia are sharply defined. It sits on its own tectonic plate, separate from Australia. It doesn't just fade into the sea, it has limits, fractures, and fault lines that trace its outline with clarity. 
These boundaries help geologists map it with precision, even if they can't see it directly. So why did it remain hidden for so long? Because it challenges how we see the world. We're used to thinking in terms of what's visible. If land doesn't break the ocean's surface, we assume it isn't there. Zelandia broke that rule. It lay submerged, quietly waiting, until we changed how we looked. In the end, the only thing separating Zelandia from the other continents was our perspective. It was never missing, never gone, just hidden under the surface, wrapped in water, waiting for the world to recognize what it really is, a true living continent. How it sank, Zelandia's mysterious past. To understand how an entire continent could vanish beneath the ocean, we have to go back in time, far back. Around 85 million years ago, Earth looked very different. The continents we know today didn't exist in their current forms. Instead, they were pieces of a giant supercontinent called Gondwana, a colossal landmass that included what would become Africa, South America, Antarctica, Australia, and Zealandia. Zealandia probably broke away from Australia around 60 to 85 million years ago, at which point it sank. Zealandia was once firmly attached to the eastern edge of Gondwana. It was dry land, rich in forests and teeming with life. But then, as Earth's tectonic plates began to shift and break apart, Gondwana started to fracture. Giant geological forces pulled its pieces away from one another, like slow-motion puzzle pieces drifting on a molten sea. One of those pieces, Zelandia, began its long, lonely journey into the Pacific. But Zelandia's fate was different from its siblings. While Africa, Australia, and Antarctica remained mostly above sea level, Zelandia didn't. As it drifted, it was stretched and thinned by tectonic activity. The continental crust beneath it began to weaken. It didn't shatter all at once, but over tens of millions of years, pressure and movement took their toll. Slowly, the land began to sink. Mountains eroded into the sea, valleys filled with water. The Great Plains were swallowed by the rising ocean. Bit by bit, Zelandia disappeared beneath the waves, not through a single cataclysm, but through relentless geological change. By about 23 million years ago, most of the continent had vanished under the surface, leaving only its tallest peaks exposed, now known as New Zealand and New Caledonia, and the world forgot about it. For millions of years, Zelandia lay hidden beneath the Pacific, buried under layers of sediment and time. It didn't roar. It didn't crack open. It simply slipped out of sight, submerged by the very forces that shaped our planet. This slow drowning of a continent is one of the most remarkable stories in Earth's geological history. And yet, it went unnoticed until scientists started asking the right questions and looking in the right places. Only then, did the story of Zelandia begin to re-emerge from the deep. Unearthing the invisible, the discovery. Finding a sunken continent sounds like something out of science fiction, but the discovery of Zelandia wasn't sudden or dramatic. It unfolded slowly, piece by piece, through decades of ocean research, careful analysis, and a growing suspicion that something vast was hiding beneath the waves. It all began in the early 2000s, when international ocean drilling programs set out to explore the seafloor around New Zealand. These scientific expeditions weren't looking for lost continents. They were gathering samples, mapping tectonic activity, and studying the geology of the region. But what they found surprised everyone. Beneath the ocean floor, scientists began uncovering rocks that shouldn't have been there. Instead of typical oceanic basalt, they found granite, sandstone, and limestone, rocks that only form on continents. These were relics of ancient mountains, pieces of land that had once stood high and dry above sea level. The deeper they drilled, the clearer it became. This wasn't just ocean crust. It was continental crust, thick and buoyant, full of the same materials found in known land masses. Satellite data, gravity readings, and underwater topography all pointed in the same direction. There was a massive, continuous slab of continental crust stretching far beyond New Zealand's shores. Then came the geological boundaries, fault lines, plate edges, mountain ranges, all buried under thousands of feet of water. Scientists began connecting the dots. This wasn't a series of scattered underwater features. It was a single, coherent landmass. In 2017, a team of geologists finally put it all together. After years of compiling data, 
they announced to the world that Zealandia met every criterion of a continent. It had the size, it had the crust, it had the boundaries. It was a continent in every way, except that it was underwater. That announcement was more than just academic. It rewrote textbooks, it reshaped maps, it reminded the world that Earth still holds secrets, even in places we think we've already explored. Zealandia didn't rise out of the sea like a forgotten city. It was patiently uncovered bit by bit by the hands of science. And as each layer peeled back, it revealed something incredible. A lost world hiding just beneath the waves, waiting for someone to notice. A lost ecosystem, life on Zealandia. Before it slipped beneath the ocean, Zealandia was alive not just with trees and rivers, but with creatures found nowhere else on Earth. It was a world unto itself, isolated, untouched, and evolving in its own strange direction. We only know fragments of that ancient ecosystem, but what we've uncovered so far paints a stunning picture of a lost biological paradise. The fossil record in New Zealand and New Caledonia, two of the few places where Zealandia still breaks the surface, offers tantalizing clues. Ancient forests once covered the land, thick with towering ferns, cicades, and mossy undergrowth. Giant trees reached into humid skies, while rivers snaked through valleys long since drowned. This was no barren slab of rock. It was a thriving, green landscape. And with those forests came life. Strange birds with no wings, reptiles that resembled nothing alive today. Giant flightless moas once roamed what's now New Zealand, standing nearly 10 feet tall. The fearsome host's eagle, with a wingspan wider than a human is tall, soared above them. These were animals that evolved without natural predators, shaped by the continent's isolation. That isolation is key. Because Zelandia was cut off from the rest of the world early in its history, evolution took a different path. Species adapted in unique ways, free from the influence of larger continents. There were no mammals to dominate the food chain, no big cats or bears. Birds and reptiles filled the ecological gaps, evolving into creatures that seemed almost mythical. Even today, New Zealand is known for its unusual wildlife. Kiwis, tuataras, and glowworms. All are remnants of a deeper past, legacies of Zealandia's long-forgotten ecosystem. But these are just glimpses. The vast majority of the continent remains beneath the ocean, unexplored, untapped, unknown. What kinds of fossils lie hidden in those submerged valleys? What ancient species may have once ruled its jungles? The answers could reshape our understanding of evolution, biodiversity, and how life adapts to isolation. Zealandia's submersion didn't just erase a landmass, it erased a world. A world that once breathed, moved, and thrived above the ocean's surface. And now, piece by piece, we're uncovering its ghost. One fossil, one rock, one revelation at a time. Why it matters today. Zealandia may be hidden beneath the ocean, but its story is far from ancient history. In fact, this submerged continent continues to shape the world around it, especially for the people who live on its visible peaks. New Zealand, perched on the exposed edges of Zealandia, sits on one of the most geologically active regions on Earth. And that's no coincidence. The land here is restless. Earthquakes are frequent. Volcanoes rumble beneath the surface. Entire mountain ranges rise and shift over time. All of this activity is directly tied to Zealandia's submerged body, its tectonic edges grinding slowly, invisibly beneath the sea. Studying the geology of Zealandia helps scientists better understand and predict this activity, which in turn helps protect the people and cities built on its exposed land. But the importance of Zealandia doesn't stop at earthquakes. Its ancient rocks hold vital clues about Earth's climate history. Layers of sediment preserved for millions of years beneath the sea contain records of ancient temperatures, atmospheric changes, and sea levels. These records are like time capsules, offering insights into how the planet has changed and how it might change again. By understanding Zealandia's past, we get a clearer picture of our future, how ocean currents shift and how continents move, how climate evolves. There's also the question of resources. Submerged continental crust often contains valuable minerals, rare earth elements, and energy sources. While deep sea mining remains controversial, 
Zealandia could one day become central to debates about how we manage Earth's remaining resources. In short, Zealandia is not just a curiosity, it's a living, dynamic part of the Earth. It connects the past to the present. It shapes weather, geology, and science. And as we uncover more of its secrets, we begin to understand just how much this lost continent still matters. What lies ahead? Unanswered questions. Even after years of study, Zealandia remains largely unexplored. Over 90% of this vast continent is still buried beneath the Pacific Ocean, hidden in the depths where sunlight never reaches. What ancient fossils lie entombed in its seabed? What unknown species might still thrive in its underwater valleys? These questions remain unanswered but not forgotten. Zealandia is more than a scientific discovery. It's a reminder that Earth still holds secrets in places we least expect. A lost continent challenges everything we thought we knew about our world. It proves that even now, in an age of satellites and scanners, wonder still exists. As technology advances and exploration continues, Zealandia will reveal more of its story. But until then, it remains a silent giant beneath the waves, mysterious, powerful, and very real. In its quiet depths lies the final truth. The age of discovery is far from over.